The number one question I get from students is, why should I major in economics? Well, today I want to talk to you about the one reason that I think you should major in economics. Unfortunately, it is also the one reason why people do not major in economics. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. A. I'm an economist at Northern Kentucky University and I love economics. I see it everywhere and I believe our lives would be improved if we all had a better understanding of economics. So today, I'm really excited to pitch you economics and why you should consider it as a major. Let's talk about the one reason people do and don't major in economics. question I often get about economics is, what do you even do with it? People often assume economics is about studying money. The reality is that economics is broad and includes diverse areas of study. You can talk about the inner workings of a country or individual human behavior. Economics is a study of how we make choices and decisions when facing scarcity. In other words, how do you decide on policies when you can't have it all? The study of economics teaches you decision-making tools to apply when decisions need to be made. It teaches you how to evaluate all available information, the costs, the benefits, and how to eventually land on a decision. Given that information, think about it. Think about all the places that economics can be used. Literally, any place where a decision is being made is a place where an economics ma major can find a job. This is the beauty of economics. It has broad applications. So the one reason is flexibility. While its broad application and diverse career paths is a great selling point, it is also daunting for some students. Today, most of my students want to know exactly what they can do with a major. They want to have a specific job title that they can apply for. So this flexibility is actually scary to them. They are in search of certainty, and I totally understand that. For me, the flexibility was what attracted me to economics, and I wanted to be able to learn a skill set that can be applied in many different industries. The flexibility of economics means that it can allow you to add it as a second major. At most places that I have taught or studied, economics degree plans have a lot of room to add courses from other majors. For instance, if you're interested in going into government, you can pair economics with history, poli-sci, or international relations, or other humanities majors. If you are more data-driven and interested in a career as a business analyst, then consider adding math, stats, or computer science as a second major, or any other business major. I want to take a break here for a second to tell you about the Econ Games. The Econ Games program is designed to provide students with experiential learning opportunities in data analytics. They also have a summer data camp and mini courses to help students learn the skills necessary for a career in economics with a focus on data. Check out the website, learn more, and join the next Econ Games challenge. Let us talk about other benefits of being an Econ major. According to the American Economic Association website, of those taking the LSAT, economics majors score the highest followed by philosophy, then engineering. So if you're thinking about law school, consider economics as a major. Students always want to know about pay. You might not be money motivated, but many people are. So how do econ majors fare in the labor market? According to payscale.com, early career economics majors make $60,000 roughly, which is ranked in the top three of all majors. Average mid-career earnings for economics majors is roughly $130,000 or $140,000. The increase from early career to mid-career is likely due to the range of job economics graduates can get. So if you're picking a major because of the money, then consider economics. If you're picking a major because of the flexibility and the amount of industries you can be part of, then pick economics. If you're interested in learning more about graduate school in economics or have more detailed questions, reach out. I would love to talk to you. The question of the day, do you know anyone that majored in economics? What do they do today? Leave a comment so we can see the diverse career paths that economists can take.